it's uh, happening. Yeah, welcome to Watch Me Work. Um, where the me and the title is you. I'm Susan Lori Parks, and we are celebrating Valentine's Day by working, <laughs> um, by working <laughs> together and supporting each other. We've been doing this show for uh, 12 years, I think, pretty much. And basically, what we do is we meet every week. Uh, or, or as often as we possibly can during the pandemic. In the beginning of the lockdown, we were meeting like every day for a while. Remember those days? I know. You know, it was fun, but it was also kind of awful. Um, fun to be together, awful that we had to do. Anyway, we're here. We're working together. This is what we do. We work together for 20 minutes. And then we, uh, then I take questions about your creative process and so it's all about you watch me work is it's all about you and your creative process and so hopefully we'll get some work done today and we'll certainly have some exciting conversation and if you have questions audrey will tell you how to get in touch audrey thanks slp that was jeremy adams he was our managing director um <laughs> Uh, so if you have any questions and you're inside of the Zoom, um, all you need to do is click on the raise your hand button, which is in the reactions tab, which is likely at the bottom of your screen on a laptop or the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. Um, and you can also ask us questions uh, via Twitter, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Uh, or you can write to the Public Theater's Instagram or uh, Twitter. And those are the ways. Mm -hmm. Those are the ways. These are the days. Um, enjoy the purple haze. Here we go. It's 20 minutes. And bam.
Hello, hello, hello. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> it looks like we've got um, our first couple of questions. Pretty good. So, yeah. Let's go to Carla. Carla. Hey, Carla. Go for it. Did it I, hello. Go. Hi, Carla. Hi, how Audrey. are you? I'm good. How are you, Susan? Great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you. Almost finally back. Sorry, it's very cold in my apartment. Oh, live dang. In <laughs> you, live in where, you live in where? Where are you? I live in the Bronx. And, oh, you know, and it's they, control, they control our heating and it's a little oh, annoying. Sweat. So it's very oh, cold. That, that is very annoying. But you look very Valentine's y with your beautiful sweater. I know. It's, you know, full on, just yeah. a tour. <laughs> there you go. There, there you we go. go. Um, well, actually, Jim's wearing question- red too. I'm sorry, Jim, Jim's wearing red. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen Jim in red either. So there you go. Yeah, <laughs> we're all in the mood of Valentine's. That's today. right. I love it. Um, so my my question was more about I've been writing this novel since the pandemic started. Okay, I've even been in here with it and all that, and I have an outline that's in front of me. Post-its and done. I even took a writing class oh, and okay. put it through it. And I know, like I wrote a little bit today. I wrote like a page or something. Fantastic. But I feel like I still, my goal was last year, I wanted to end have my first draft by the end of the year and I didn't make my goal. And I feel like I keep, it's like, you know, when you're in a car and the car's starting and then it won't move and it's like, uh, uh, uh. and I, I feel you. That, that's how I feel right now with my writing and I like this is the first time I've written on it for like 10 days the last time I saw it was February 4th okay and so I feel like wow. I keep de- dealing like that with it and I don't know right. if you have any advice on how to try and break that because it's not I guess a writer's block because I know exactly what I need to write I know how everything ends I have it I just want to finish my first draft but I keep not doing it and so I just don't know yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm yeah. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I can guess. Like, like, do you really want to finish? Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, am I not enjoying it? Like, I was so into it at first, and now I'm like, ah, it feels because because heavy. because 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 when you're finished, then you're not going to be in it like you were in it now. So if you don't if you don't if you prolong the process, then you can stay in it longer. <laughs> maybe you have maybe you love it so much you don't want to you know some some parents don't like their children to grow up and leave home and mm. you know I mean you know so it's like you, you don't you know you don't want it to take it to grow to the next level because you'd be sad maybe I don't know yeah there's that, that. Be, that's yeah, I mean we're that. just throwing out possibilities yeah there's yeah that. So let's say like that's a possibility. We can you can entertain, you can mull it over, you know, uh, and and see if that makes any sense to you. Um, do you think that there's a there's a there's a, 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 a like a splinter in it or some kind of um, I hate to use the word defect, but some kind of mis you know mis something not quite right in it that you're sort of sensing with your spidey sense and you're going e you know. Do I need to repair something before it, it it's drafted fully? Um, I know a couple things okay. that I know already need to be fixed, but I figured I would do that in the second draft. Okay. And I okay. even have parts of it. Um, like I have it both in my computer and this notebook. Uh, but in the computer, I still have little like comments being like, okay, maybe this needs to be fixed mm-hmm. and stuff. But I was mm-hmm. just like, okay, just write it it's like write that right. first draft it doesn't okay. matter if it's good or not but then I couldn't even write it in the computer and okay. so I, that's why I bought a notebook and I was like I'm just gonna start writing it by hand so I just feel like you're I'm doing everything like, right you're doing everything completely yeah. right because what you're yeah. doing what Carla's doing is she's realizing she's having a difficulty she's trying different ways doesn't work on computer I'm gonna work on in a notebook doesn't work you know if I can't get there by driving I'm gonna walk if I can't get by walking I'm gonna borrow some sled a sled or some skis or whatever to hitch a ride great so you're trying you're examining your options great okay 
So, and if you, you saw something, you noted something that needed to be fixed or, or changed, you know, mm -hmm. to improve it. And you're not stopping to really do those. You're kind of putting, giving yourself a note and you keep going. That's really great. Okay. So you're doing that right No, So far, so good. Hold on. We're not done yet. <laughs> um, we have a list. Let's see. Let me see. I'm, I'm reading off my imaginary cue cards here. Um, let's see. So great. So how much, um, how much, when you were writing on it, which was what, the 4th of February, what did you say? The, the last time was I, that I used a notebook was February 4th. And then today I wrote a Great. small page. Okay. Okay. So, 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 so when you were, so look back into the distant past. No, whenever that was, when you were writing kind of, and you felt, when was, when were you writing and felt like, okay, I'm going along. I'm, I'm writing at a steady clip. When was that? Probably when I started writing in the notebook. Okay, That's but before when I that, was like, before, when you were saying like, I'm going to finish it by the end of the year, when was that? Oh, like, I want to say like August of last year or September. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll go back to the notebook. Day. So when you picked up the notebook and you, you felt energized again and possibility, uh, mm -hmm. how, what was your writing schedule and what was your writing like? What was, I, many... I promised myself I would do 20 minutes Great. every day so okay. that I wouldn't do too little or too much because I felt like if I do an hour, I would like stare into space. Great. Um, <laughs> Smart. Everything yeah. so far, everything's right. This is, this is fun. This is fun. Okay. I mean, I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here we go. This is hard. No, no, no. It's, it's actually great. It's great. It's great because I, I think Carla, as, as you have your questions and you wonder, maybe other people have this similar questions. So we're just doing diagnostics, right? It's like, we're, we're running it through, you know, you're at the, you know, we're running it through the, the diagnostics. So here we go. Here's another question. So, yeah. so you, so last time on the 4th of February, you were writing and you did 20 minutes and you, you accomplished that. Yeah. Then what happened? What was the 5th I, of February like? It's a good question. <laughs> I might even have to look back at my calendar and be like, what did I do that day? I don't even remember. <laughs> That's why I'm like, oh my God, 5th of February. Oh my God, it was a Saturday. Fourth was a, okay, the 5th of February was a Saturday. 4th of February was a, a, a Friday. Friday. I was very busy being with friends. I was meeting up with all our friends to the point that I felt like my social clock died and I just sat and watched TV and then didn't really do much on that day. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah television isn't it great mm -hmm. yeah it's like an IV. you just hook yourself up to it and the day goes by and you wonder what the fuck just happened yeah uh, it's, it's, it's drugs baby it's, yeah so you got you hung out with friends because of course you hadn't been doing that much probably right no. now okay, oh, right and you're like I deserve to hang out with friends and of course you do and then you start getting like yeah you're feeling good and you come home interestingly enough yeah. and you watch television <laughs> why do you do that why did you do that I think it's because I remember that now that I'm looking back into it I was like I felt I remember thinking I think my social clock is like done so I was like, I just need to like lay down and like face out. Yeah, hook up to the morphine drip. Hook up to my morphine, exactly. And yeah, yeah. and I for and then a few days after that, I really didn't want to see anyone. Like I was like exhausted, and I I, got even, I remember I got even asked to go out to a dinner, and I was like, that's in I live in the Bronx, that's in the middle of Manhattan. I don't want to take the train. I was like. We hear you, but yeah. strangely enough, none of that, I don't think has to do with your novel or maybe it does. Maybe For it some does. reason you went out, you got, you went social, then you watched TV and then you kind of felt like, Whoa. yeah. Okay. okay. It's, it's interesting. So, yeah. so when do you usually write? Afternoon. Time day? After work, I finish work around four. So Great. I try to do afternoon. Great. So you do 20 minutes. What, when you get home, you wait till you get home or you work, you work at home or what's I work from home. So Great. I try so, to like, you know, take a break and then come back into it. Great. Okay. So this is what we're going to, we're going to suggest. Mm -hmm. What if I said, what if I suggested write for 
two minutes a day. Okay. Is that, is that possible? Yeah. I, yeah. I know. I know. Why'd you say that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it hard? Is it really hard? It's not hard. I feel like two minutes is not enough. <laughs> But, yeah, but it's I, better than zero, right? Better than zero, exactly. Okay, we love you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's a, it's it, we're we're it's we're just lowering the bar. That's all. We're not saying you're you're faulty or wrong or bad or lazy or anything. You're not none of those things. We checked. We've done all the diagnostics. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, you're doing everything right, and all we have to do is we just have to lower the bar. We just have okay. to lower it to a place where great reaction. You went. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. I know, right? Uh, two mi- <laughs> right? Great. Yeah. Good. That means you can do it with no problem. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. next time I say, hey, Carla, have you been writing every day? You'll go, yeah. I'm not going to ask you how many minutes. I'm not going to ask you how good it is. Yeah. Right? For two minutes. And that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. And yeah. s- try that for, you know, at least a week. Okay. Just two minutes. That's it. Two minutes. And see how you feel. Check in with yourself. Yeah. 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 Maybe it's that. I was like exhausted and I, yeah. I couldn't because not only that, I couldn't do anything else. Right. I, I right. left my laundry. I left everything. Yeah. So now that makes more sense. Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> You know, two minutes, lower the bar, two minutes, Yeah. just okay. two minutes, set the timer. You have a timer, right? I, uh, I need to get one of yours. I need to go into well, Amazon. I'm yeah. using the I phone. Know, I know. I know. I would not suggest you going to Amazon no. for anything, but yeah. they, they, grow, they grow there. Okay. They grow there. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Bed, Bath and Beyond, maybe or okay. whatever. I mean, what? No, no, no. Get, get it wherever. Who the fuck cares? I mean, yeah. shit. He's going to go to Mars next. We got to pay for his next trip, right? Oh God. So we can <laughs> dismantle another bridge and wherever the fuck. Yeah. Anyway, I know, right? Uh so so uh yeah, get yourself a timer. These are great because they're not connected to my phone. So uh yeah. two minutes, right? And set it for like two minutes, five seconds, because the five seconds gives you time to take your hands off the timer and put them on the keyboard or on the pick up the notebook and put the pin, you know, like that. So two minutes, five seconds, mm-hmm. right for two minutes, and that's it. That's all you do. Okay. Okay. All right. This is Perfect. this is rehab. Yeah. <laughs> I love rehab. I know Amy Winehouse well, bless her heart, you know. Yeah. But you know, we love rehab. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I feel like now I understood. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Thank it's you. All good. Thank you. <laughs> Great questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. Let's go to Emmanuel. Yay. Does that work? Emmanuel. Uh, oh, no. Okay, hold oh, on. No. There you go. Try again. Yes. Yay. Yay. Hi. Yay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you st- not France? Yes. No. Yep. Yeah. Right. Still, I know. Why do I, why do I remember that? That's horrible. Maybe maybe my name. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. French one. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. So, I didn't keep up with what you said last time and I felt very guilty. So I didn't clock in. Uh Oh, <laughs> but I can't remember. But okay. What did I do? You no, remember what I said? No, I basically set the bar way too high, which was very nice to have the last question because I was supposed to write uh, a page a day for like 50 days. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, but it's fine. So basically I'm back to writing this musical that I started writing uh, in 2019 Mm-hmm. And there are there are not holes in the plot, but I did kind of uh, what you suggested is get to the end. Mm-hmm. And now there are so I've had just one reading, uh-huh. but there are Great. plot holes, and there are a couple of things that I'm I'm like oh that's a bit cheesy. <laughs> uh-huh. So I'm not quite sure. I've been avoiding getting back to it because it's as if uh, it's constructed. And that if I take a piece out, the whole thing will crumble because it's it's a construction, even if I don't like it. So I'm not yeah. quite sure how to tackle. Um, I mean, it definitely needs a rewrite, but um, getting back to reworking like the basic plot, I, I'm not really quite sure. It feels very scary to do that. 
Mm-hmm. Um, do you know so my game? question? Yeah. Yes. No, Sorry, no, no. Ahead. Please, please, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. It's just how how to mm -hmm. uh, go ahead doing that. I don't know by which like which angle to to go into it because yes, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Mm -mm. Mm. No, it's a it's a great it's a great question. Um, you know the game Jenga. I was just thinking of the game Jenga. Yes, that's yeah. what it's it just is. like that. You know, yes. right? Okay, great. So it's a and it's a game, folks. If you don't know it, you know you pile up a bunch of blocks and you pull things out and hope that it doesn't collapse. Um, and you, in a way, are putting things in and hoping it doesn't collapse. But hmm, and taking things out. I, I definitely need to take things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Change. But if I change some fundamental things that I don't like, it just, ha you know, it you the story. If I take one scene out that I don't like, then the rest of the story can't happen. Are you sure? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. I haven't um, tried, but it just okay, feels. Okay. If it feels, it feel it feels like it. Um, Mm. yeah okay so so that's the first question are you yeah so you can you can try to take some i mean because if you definitely if there's a scene that you don't like and you don't feel mm. it works mm. then you got to at least try to take it out mm. right to see yeah. what's going to happen and you can replace it with a better scene that works and that you like and that's going to serve the story more right mm. yes does that does that make sense um th yeah th there's really you know, no other way around it. You can, I mean, you can leave it like it is with the holes in it that you have mm -hmm. identified. You don't want mm -hmm. to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said that you mm -hmm. can, you know, not change a thing. Wait a minute. That was what I just said. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay. We're just examining all the mm -hmm. options here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can uh, j just keep it like it is and hope no one notices. Mm -hmm. And every night that it's playing, you're going to be going like this in the <laughs> audience, right? Oh, there, that's an option. That's an option. You can, Identify the parts that don't work and that you don't like the holes, which you've done. And you yeah. can, you can do something about it. That's the only, I mean, what did Jung say? The, you know, Carl Jung, the only way out is through. Right. So. You know. but it's, it's like for like example, it's a, it's a scene that's a bit of a crux moment that propels the character forward until the end. So right. all of the consequent actions and just are based on this one scene that mm -hmm. um that I don't like I'm like that's a bit obvious cheesy you know great I great so you so you draw a big circle I mean first of all make make a list of your scenes that would help right so that takes them out of the script you mm -hmm. know right and put some distance between uh they're they're in the script now now you're just looking at like you're looking at a map Right. And you're looking at point A, point B, point C, point D like that. You're, you're, you're getting a little distance on it. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can look at it a little more objectively to create just a little bit of distance. Right. And then you circle that scene on your out on your, your map, your list, your bullet point list, if you will. And you circle that scene and then you can write, maybe open a new page on your laptop or in a notebook, why that scene doesn't work, why you don't like it, why it's cheesy. Hmm. And maybe 10 really cheesy things stupid things that you could put ha that you could have happen in place of that like just ways that you could change it just that scene go one scene at a time if you take apart the whole thing sure it's going to be hard to put back together but if you do it piece by piece very systematically you know okay so yeah. make yourself an outline or a beat sheet or a bullet you know, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it, an outline, a list of scenes, circle the ones that don't work, and then write out either longhand or in your note, or, you know, why they don't work to you, why they're cheesy, why you don't like them. Mm -hmm. And okay. then what could be better? Okay. Yes. Because then you're really doing Jenga. You're taking something out mm -hmm. and you're going, there's the whole, what do I put in that place that could really accomplish all these things? Maybe it's mm -hmm. a modest change you need to make. Maybe it's a big change, mm -hmm. but you're preserving the structure. You're just focusing on the, 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 the problem, if you will, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yeah. It makes it less scary. If it, yeah. 
if they're just itemized, mm-hmm. a succession of itemized things. Yeah. Um, I have a second question. Is that sure. okay? Sure. Um, it's a, the main character is um, things just keep happening to her. And I'm not quite sure how to develop again, because it's all structured around this one person. And then I feel like, again, if I change her and her personality or add a bit more agency to her, that it, then everything else will have to change. That's well, so <laughs> well, the same. Maybe every, well, <laughs> maybe thing, everything else has to change. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And that's not the worst thing. I mean, you know, the power of the artist is in, you know, the rewrite, the power of the writers in the rewrites. Yes. You know, that's where you show your, your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's where you show your stuff, your moxie, mm. your, your grit, your resilience, mm. you know? Um, but again, I would suggest go writing an outline, give yourself some space from the script and okay. write scene one. This is what she does, or this is, no, this is what is what's done to her. Yes. You know, and how can she it just, just brain? How could she be more active? What could she do? What does she want? Mm. You know, what does she want? So what she's going, what is she going to do to get it? You know, yeah. you see what I mean? So yeah. what, how can I activate her? How can I make her more active? How can I make her an active agent in what she wants? You know, I think it's because the main premise is that she is living through what she thinks it, she doesn't know what she wants because things have been put onto her and so she's going through the motions of that's what kind of the piece is about so how to make her yes well well the, it, it, either it is a either it is a problem for you or it isn't I mean you just said it, hmm. it was a problem she she things yes, were happening to her she didn't have enough agency yes. so we can do that but if you say if that's what the piece is about then yeah. then that's what it's about Mm-hmm. You know, it, you know, it, it's, it's your call. It's your work. So um, mm-hmm. if, if you're feeling like she's too, you know, passive, then yeah. you can change mm-hmm. that. But if you, but if her passivity is the, the, the story, then. Okay. Yes. You know, I will brainstorm both options. Yeah. 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 And again, make lists, make lists of scenes, get some yes. space on it, get some space on it. See mm. it from, you know, some elevation, a thousand feet away. You know what I mean? Look at yeah. it as, as if someone else wrote it. That will help. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Pretend someone else wrote it. Okay. Because someone okay. else did actually. <laughs> when did yeah. you write the first draft of this? 2019. Yeah. That was forever. That was like a hundred years ago. Might as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. Great. All to see right. You. We've got about 14 minutes All left right. and we're going to go to Melania. Hey, Melania. Sorkin. Hello, Yay. Susan. Hello, Hi, everybody. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Yeah. I am so happy to be here. And what I love about this opportunity, this treasure that we have is the merciful spirit, you know, that helps mm-hmm. me a lot because I am... I, a couple of, of weeks ago, we talked about I couldn't choose, pick what I wanted to do. So after a while, you t- told me that maybe I could do the, the theater play that I am trying to write. So I decided and I went for it. And I began. Um, awesome. I did several things trying to, to get it along. Mm-hmm. Flashcards. Oh, I good. Bought, yes, I walked in my neighborhood. I talk to myself. <laughs> I pray that I love to pray. Good, good, good. Uh, I read out loud. Um, good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dreamed about the play. I was dreaming. So suddenly, I, yes, I, I found myself in, with myself on trying to write what I dream, you know, when I am in Perfect. the middle state. Perfect. Yeah. So doing all of that, I realized, I think that what I realized is that I don't know my character. My, it's, a, it's a one woman play. Oh, yes, it's for a, it's for a person that I love in Argentina, and she read something. We talk about the idea. She loves it, and she 
I think that what happened also is that she made so many nice comments about the situation that I, I got a little, I don't know if the word is scared or mm -hmm. like frozen. Um, but what I think is happening to me is that I don't know my character yet very well. And I know that I write the character, mm -hmm. I am creating the character, but at the same time, I feel that the character goes beyond me. If there is a person that is, is going beyond me, so I would like to ask you, how can I meet with my character? How can I know more? Because what I am seeing is that I have situations and ideas, but it's something that they are that I know that is happening to this character that I, I really don't know yet. There mm -hmm. is something there that is, and I am stuck, but I am trying to do things. So I am stuck, but I am not because I am moving. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's even in, in my dreams now. So Very good. Yes. So it's perfect. Do you have any suggestions about how to sure. know my character better? Sure, sure. Have you tried talking to her? Uh, no. T talking. Just to interview her. Okay. You know, just like, hey, <laughs> can we talk? <laughs> interview her. Okay. Yeah. You know, talk to me. Talk, talk to me. So that when you're you're going on your walks, you're working with your flashcards, you're dreaming, you're, um, you know, all your wonderful techniques that you're employing, you're talking with her. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. You know, what am I not understanding about you? What am I not here? Am I getting something wrong? You know, she's your friend as if she were your friend. Okay. I like it. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to try everything. Yeah, and, yeah. and just, you know, and just, you know, the, the spirit, I, in my experience, the spirit just loves to watch you work. You know, look, Melania's trying this and trying this and trying this and trying this. How exciting. How thrilling. Look at you. How, what resilience. What fortitude. What patience. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's beautiful. Look, look, look. You know, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's living, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, it's so, it's so beautiful. And, and you're not alone. And we've all been there. We have created anything. We've all been there. We've all been, what does that Christopher Walken say to Leonardo DiCaprio in that film? Catch me if you can. We've all been those mice in the cream, you know, moving our little legs so fast. You keep moving your little legs and eventually, hopefully it turns to butter and you just walk out. You know? uh. anyway, that's, that's, that's that movie. Catch me if you can, but that, you know, that idea that you just keep, you know, sometimes we're just in water, so it's not going to turn to cream anytime soon. We just have to keep paddling, but we make some, some forward progress. And you think of all the beautiful things that were discovered, all the inventions or all the, you know, the, the breakthroughs happen because of effort. And sometimes they come quickly and sometimes they don't come quickly, but you know that you're on the right path. Mm -hmm. This is the life. You know, this is the, this is the artist way right here. That's true. Yeah. So, so talk to her. I will. I mm -hmm. promise. I will. Yeah. Talk. Okay. That, that could help. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Melania. All right. We've got about eight minutes left. We're going to go to Richard. Go hey, for it, Richard. Richard. Hey, man. Oh, did you get it? Uh, oh, no. Try oh. one more time. Oh, there, oh, there you go. Yes, there I am. There you are. Okay. So that was great. Two weeks ago, you told me to go see, do scene by scene, go through the whole thing, running commentary. And the key to the running commentary that was so amazing was that it kept on coming up with the same problems. Mm -hmm. Then I started reading it aloud mm -hmm. and something connected because I'm an actor and I know all this stuff the scenes like okay, but I it's just too polite. The conflict, yes, I know the conflict's there, but it's really not there. Um, and, and part of the problem too is kind of having this thing in my head was that well, it's a screenplay, so these people can't talk too much, but. I kind of understand dialogue is action too. Yes. So um, 
so what I've been doing now is kind of trying to go back and do do the beginning each scene Mm -hmm. and in a way like when I wrote out the list of what's happening in the scenes it seems very it seems somewhat different when I'm changing it because it needs it just needs different things so what am I asking I'm just saying one it's so important for me to just read the thing aloud. I don't have, I, as an author, I know what it is, but if I don't read it aloud, I really don't understand anything about objectives and how do I get what I want. Um, so what, what I, I just wanted to share that stuff and maybe, um, I, the question is about where do I go from now? Now I'm trying, I'm thinking like maybe I should just do the same thing, which is just work day one, work on this scene and then go to scene two, then go to scene three. And, and then I'll, I'll have maybe another running commentary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's a great uh, method, Richard. And I think that, um, you're finding like, where's the conflict, you know? And you're also saying there's another voice in your head that says, don't write too many words. Cause in, in movies, you know, screenplays, they don't talk a lot, you know, but what I'm thinking is if you need to get to the conflict or find the conflict and you need a whole two page honker of a speech to get there. Right. I would suggest go and write the gosh, darn thing write the two pages of speech and then cut it down. You know, it feels like you're looking for something and you, you, you might have trouble finding it because you're t- also telling yourself you're not allowed to write too many words of dialogue. Well, it, it, it's so amazing you said that because mm-hmm. what was 59 pages since I started rewriting is 66. There you go. And it, okay. it's, a million times better. Okay, there you go. And it's all you be, be it's okay to read to overwrite if you want to call it that. It's okay to write long monologues for teleplays or screenplays. And if you need to, because you, you're searching, right? So you're digging, right. you're digging, you're looking, you're running through the woods, you're looking, you're digging in the hole, you're digging, you're digging, you're digging, you're going to find it. You know what I mean? But you, you won't find it if you don't dig. Um, and sometimes you got to write too many words to find the right ones. And that's okay. That's okay. Um, I think sometimes we, we have difficulty because we writing and rewriting are two different uh, activities. So you're rewriting, i.e. cutting words while you're trying to write them. Just, just, just write the words. Write, write, write. Write, those, write that speech. Write, find that conflict that you're, you're saying you're, you're missing, you know? And maybe I was thinking, maybe it makes sense instead of just begin, maybe start with scenes, work on scene seven, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because maybe scene seven will tell me, well, there's a big problem here. There you go. I think you, scene seven is talking to you. (laughs) Because that came out of your mouth, bro. You know, right, you know what I'm saying? You're like, scene, scene seven is like, hey, can we, can we talk, please? Can we, yeah, so yes, I think that's a great idea. You don't have to always work in order. You've, you've written the, the whole thing. You've gotten to the end. You've made notes. You re- just, just work on the things that you really feel aren't working yet. Great. Right on what I don't feel is working. Okay, that, that's my mantra. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you. Excellent. Thank you. you. Thanks, Patrick. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We've got about two minutes to go, and it seems like we don't have any questions at the moment. So, do you want to take us home, SLP? Take us home. (laughs) We're already home.
<laughs> old already, except you, you're at work. Can you, you take know? me home? Yeah, I know, really. Oh. I just, you know, I mean, you know, let's not underestimate the value of, of kindness, you know? And, you know, so often we take uh, kindness for weakness. You know, we see people who are kind and, and caring of others as somehow defective. Um, and it's better to be tough, you know, but we, we know better. We, we know better. And, we, and it's just, you know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just telling you guys stuff, things you, things you already know. But it, it's very important. Um, and also, you know, as you go along and grow in your artistic process, it, stepping on other people to get where you want to go is, 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 is not, it's not worth it. Um, it's not important. It's kindness is so important. And I use the word kindness instead of love. Love is a word like friend. It's kind of, it's, I don't know, quite know sometimes what it means anymore, but, but kindness, I, I know what that means. So, and to be kind to as many people as we can every day, even the people who are not important. You know what I mean? Not only kind to the people who are going to get us something and elevate us in some way, but the people who, who might not elevate us. Just, just, it means so much to people. Um, and there's so much, as we know, because we feel it, there's so much uh, despair right now uh, in the world, in our communities, for many, 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 many different reasons. Um, but, but kindness can go a long way to really just helping each of us through the day. We can all do that for each other. So, you know, that's why, that's part of the reason why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of kindness, lots of kindness in this, in this community right here. I'm very proud of all of you too, because it's hard to do the work. It's hard to show up, but it, it makes everything else worthwhile, right? Yeah. So well, thanks, SLP. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock. So, so next week, right, it's President's Day. Um, <laughs> Another word that is his meaning has kind of been diminished over the years, but President's Day, um, the public theater is officially closed. And so we will not have Watch Me Work on uh, next week because we do not have, you know, the, the, the fabulousness of the public theater and HowlRound to organize it for us. So we're going to be back on the what's the 28th, February 28th, the 28th of February. OK, so next week we'll just work on our own and uh, enjoy it. OK. And uh, we'll be back on the 28th. You're the best, SLP. We'll see you on the 28th. And I love, love you guys. Ah, I use that word. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>